welcome to another episode of Pandemic Apparel. I am so sorry it took me so long to finish the tutorial, but uh, life ended up happening and I hope you guys understand. I found some free time over the holidays, so I thought I'd give it a try. I do have a couple other pre-recorded tutorials, but I'm not sure when I'll be able to get around to doing them. First off, you need to scan the pattern into the computer. You can do it in pieces and then reassemble it in Photoshop. Once you've opened up each individual piece of the pattern in Photoshop, you can drag and drop or copy and paste them into a single canvas. And if your background layer is locked, just double click to unlock it and press OK. Or you can just duplicate that layer. Then go to Edit, Auto Align. Just select the auto, the default generally works, and then hit OK. If you do this incorrectly, you'll get this error message. Don't forget to save the file. I would save it as a JPEG, but you can save it as a Photoshop file with all the layers. Then open the file that you just saved in Adobe Illustrator. To set up the pattern, lock the first layer, then create a new layer. Then trace the pattern with the pen tool. If you need help with this step or using the pen tool, uh, refer to my previous tutorial. Once you've traced the pattern, copy the outline only, uh, create a new layer, paste it in front using Command F on the Mac or Control F on the PC. I'm drawing a grain line to add the, and adding the arrows on either end. Um, this is optional, but every pattern needs a grain line, so might as well go ahead and do that. I'm creating a wooden square and adding it to the corners just to have um, the lines on either end of the, that point even. You can definitely freehand it and do what you want and then delete the part of the line that you don't need. I then select all the pieces and break it apart and ungroup them and then just remove all the lines I don't need. I'm color coding them so you know what size I'm doing like I did in my previous video. Uh, the pink is a 1 inch grade for a size 8. The red is going to be for a 1.5 inch grade size 12 and the green is going to be a 2 inch grade for size 14. Now in Adobe Illustrator, moving objects around can get a little tricky. It's different than manual grading where you can set the 0, 0 point and have your calculations. In Adobe Illustrator, when you enter the amount, it's from where the point is. So um, in this case, I'm moving all the points that need to go down an eighth. So I'm entering it in decimal points, but if you don't know what the decimal point is, you can put the fraction in and it will convert it for you once you press the tab button. So once I move the uh, neck, neck shoulder, and shoulder armhole, I'm going to move the neck shoulder separately since that has to go down an additional 1 16th of an inch. So one tricky thing to remember when working with Adobe Illustrator is when you want to make the pattern smaller and go in, uh, instead of using a negative number, you have to use a positive number. So if you can see here, when I put the negative number, it makes it bigger. So just uh, keep that in mind and make sure that you're aware of that. I am doing this a little bit quicker um, just because um, it's a lot easier that way. Just selecting the ones that need to move at the time that they need to move it rather than selecting each one and moving it. Um, you can definitely do that, but uh, I find it easier if I just select all the ones that I need to move and then if I have additional ones that need to move separately, I'll do that after. If that's a little bit too confusing, you can definitely do one at a time. So I'll let you watch the rest. Um, it's kind of self-explanatory. If you want to refer to what I'm doing or how I did it, you can check out my previous grading tutorial. I go in depth of the numbers and all that in there. This is just to show you how you can do it in Adobe Illustrator. Also with this, if you have uh, multiple layers that you need to grade upwards and rather than doing the math all at the same time, um, I lock the previous layer that are already done. So if I did the smaller layer first, I'll lock that layer. Then I don't have to do it again and then select all the layers underneath. So if I'm doing the size 12, 14, 16, um, I'll select all those and grade them all at once. 
And then as I'm going and finishing, say I already graded a, up a size 12, so I'll lock that layer. And then I'll move on and I'll do the same process again for size 14, and then I'll lock that layer. And then so I don't have to do all the calculations. I just keep going up a size or however, whatever your grade is. That's a lot easier that way if you want to do it that way. That's why I have all the little layers in there so I can lock them and I don't run the risk of moving a point that I didn't want to move. So, All right, so this comes to the end of our lesson. Um, don't forget to check your points like I showed you in the previous tutorial. Uh, this time we can just go ahead and press Command-Shift-M and uh, just move the points and make sure that they're in the spot that they need to be. This will be the end of this tutorial, but I have another one for the Lecture and Gerber. I know everybody was wanting to know how to do it with Adobe Illustrator, so I, I did this one first. But hopefully the other one will, won't take me as long to upload, so maybe in a week or two. So uh, stay tuned for that, and I hope you guys all had a happy holidays, and I'll see you guys next year. Bye.